Hi there guys, welcome to the channel. I'm Jake and you're here for a reaction and today I am reacting to Miss Marvel Season 1 Episode 3. I uh, don't know if it goes further than Season 1. Uh, I feel like I do this whenever it is always a first season. I always tend to stay with... I don't know whether it will be so... Maybe I should just stop saying that, or just say it every time. Just expect it. Anyway, leave me alone. Uh, so far, I enjoy this show. I have, I'm having fun watching it. It, it has it got me gripped, like uh, as of recent, uh, as of recent TV shows. I'd say what's had me gripped more was um, oh my god, that was a big burp. Oh, and it made my camera go weird. Sorry about that. <laughs> what well, um, what had me more gripped more recently? I'd say would was. was Moon Knight, One Division, and Loki. I'd say those have me more gripped. Um, but that doesn't mean that this this one still isn't good. It's different, and that's what I'm enjoying about it. It's like I said, mentioned different genres of different shows, like for Marvel coming out now. And this was just fun. Oh, I've just show, I shook my seat in my screen. Yeah, but this one's just fun, and and um. But I guess that's what I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying the lightheartedness of it so far, the different culture aspect, and the fact they're embracing a younger generation who have grown up with superheroes and yeah, and and they 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 idols. So as what we left it last time is that uh, Miss Marvel, uh, she uh, yeah <laughs> she's uh, currently. I wouldn't say she's yeah she's kind of on the run. She got picked up by her kind of new fella, who turns out his mother is a woman that she's seen in the visions. Uh, but she tried to save someone, but then it kind of still hurt himself in the process. So I don't know how that's gonna go. Whether she'll be seen as a vigilante or if she is actually a hero. But hopefully, if things turn out good for her, and that's all I'd want. Uh, so something else that's been dwelling on my mind as well is the fact that again since then they in that second episode they mentioned the Inhumans no not the Inhumans per se but that the power is actually from her it's just that the bracelet sort of channels it or it, it's what ignites it or something like that so it does have that possibility to bring in the Inhumans so I'd, I'd wonder if that is something that they might go down but whether they do or not I don't know but we shall have to see overall though I'm excited I want to jump into this. Uh, it's also my niece's birthday. Uh, I've been able to escape because uh, she's downstairs uh, to be able to try and do this. But there might be points where I have to pause or run out and do something like that because she might just be screaming my name. So just a little heads up and just letting you know that. But on that note, guys, I'm going to jump into this. I hope I enjoyed this episode. I hope you enjoy this reaction and I'll see you on the other side. Wow, this is this is completely different from. I don't know what they're going for here. The bullet or something, but what? Oh no way! We're getting flashbacks. Okay. So that has to be the long lost family member, correct? A Aisha. Same thing that happened to Kamala. Put on. Per, uh, what's his face? I want to call him Oscar. It's Bruno. Bruno didn't see it. It's the end of another realm. Did you guys meet in school or something? Not exactly. Oh, the whole gang's here! From another dimension. And so are we. Wait, what? No, but it's like she's <laughs> not here by choice. Being around in the 40s? <laughs> <laughs> Seventeen. Fuck. Sorry. <laughs> it's a bit, bit strange, still though, isn't it? Did you sense the presence of Lord? Lord. Lord. That means light. And also, what are you like? <laughs> respectfully. We're known as clandestines. Clandestines. Okay. Interesting. No idea what it means, but interesting. I'm sorry. Did you just say gin? Yeah, gin. Hold on. We know what gin is. Yeah. I found out what I am. 
<laughs> cheeky I'm bastards. And Comrade's one of them. <laughs> there we go. There we go. No, I mean, they're really nice. And their average looking son. <laughs> oh, God. Poor, poor kid, man. Actually, no, that reminds me of a paper I read. Eric Selvig! Dr. Eric Selvig. Correct. You, agent, actually. Department of Damage Control. Oh, they're wearing the shoes in there. That's not nice. You have no legal authority here. Yes. Yes. Fucking yes. Study the criminal code in homeroom. Well, an order rerun, but I'm not wrong. <laughs> no, don't cooperate. Next time, remove your shoes. Yes. Yes. Thank you. Rude bastards. Like we need another target on our back. Oh, now she she's not going to tell she her. She does notice she doesn't God. This is this this isn't Why? good. Oh, no. Not for their friendship, I mean. Wanted us to get Proud of you, buddy. <laughs> All these people, your family? Yeah. We're Pakistani, we were all I see. You will be sure not to hear <laughs> Oh, oh she's, she's going to. One pair of shoes. Not all of my shoes. Was that like a ritual? Not funny. That's, um, I didn't know that's a ritual. Oh! Jesus. That's, that's an indirect kill trick. It is the thing you do. God, he's like, he's just inspired. He reminds me of that, well, not completely different. He reminds me of Matt Murdock's, like, priest that he goes to, to understand what he's doing to help him through things without directly telling them to do things you know god damn it bruno man you sweet sweet fucking boy you know there's just something about their syntheticness <laughs> <laughs> good man i got you covered mr khan and to live out their days Right, so it could actually be them. Because so it could be the ones that. Okay, okay, I did think they were a bit too nice. Margin of error must be. Try again, this time might give us a short. <laughs> For fuck's sake, come on. <laughs> you just think you've been busy? Yeah, busy with men. That's not him. Come on, do you want to help me now? And Carol Danvers would be reckless. Mm. Tell her, Bruno. Tell that to Carol Danvers' face as well. Like you wanted something so bad and then it actually happened. So in reality, it's just not as great as you imagined it. <laughs> Being a parent. Oh, uh, America. You don't have to do it alone. Do you know what? It's, she's a good mom, I guess. She's just going to say stuff to piss me off. I don't think it's going to go as easy as you think it's going to go. 49 I'm surprised you have that much. <laughs> well, now's not the time to end. Never have I seen a couple so certain of their love. Oh, I bet he says that to everyone, you fucking liar. Oh, I do. <laughs> you are now husband That's and nice. Wife. I like that they ask you three times just to reiterate. Mom, have you seen my phone? Oh no. We're going to make her help us. Oh, you're just. Oh god, just, just a bitch, aren't you? Big old bitch. Villain, villainous bitch. Every time you clash, you become closer. Who knows? That's actually nuts. Oh, nice. We're actually going to have that. Yes. That's what I love about the, this culture as well. The synchronized dancing. He's, is he wearing a Hulk top? That looks like he was wearing a Hulk top. Oh, Bruno, get in there, son. Go on. Go on, Bruno. Looks 
so much fun, man. Brown Jovi, fucking. <laughs> oh, as if he's going to interrupt their little slow dance. Oh. Oh, you absolute shithouse. He's doing a good thing, but you've just ruined a dance. I didn't realise that seriously, please just back off, Brian. This isn't your fight. When my mother wants something, nothing stands in her way. As if he called him Brian still as well. Yes. Come on. <laughs> yeah, the money. <laughs> Oh god, he, d he didn't stand a fucking chance, did he? Absolutely not. <laughs> fucking hell. Come on, Kamala. Oh fucking hell. She's got to get used to these bruises then, if this is how it's going to go. She's catching himself on fire. Idiot. Don't extinguish him. Aww. Aww. Just hold hands now. Unite. No racism. You love it. What? What? What are you doing? Why? Why was that? What was that look about? Oh, that's like the Jurassic Park scene. What the? Where, what the? Where the fuck did that come from? Uh, what the fuck was he trying to do there? That's it. Oh, oh, fuck it out. She's gonna be covered in bruises. How does she just disappear constantly? <laughs> oh, fucking hell. Yes. Fucking. Ugh. Right to his big fat head. Yes. More. More of that. None of this defending shit. No. Just actually battering him. Oh. Get right out of here. Oh, I swear it's my name. <laughs> he is. Sack of shit. Oh my god. She's gonna have what are they gonna do? I actually have no idea how she's she gonna travel somehow. Oh fuck yeah! That's it. She actually actually came in pretty clutch there. <laughs> so what? What? Was that? Well, no, she knows. Zakia will take care of you. Wait, no. Just go. <laughs> All right, fuck it, on Zakia, you bitch. I mean, how have they just sort of let it slide? There was. Weddings were ruined, there was evacuations, there was fucking federal agents. How has this just been swept? Like, nothing's happened. Later. You need to come to Karachi. What? Only one in the limit. She what? Did you see the train, Bita? Oh, okay. Okay. What did you know about that? Because I saw it too, which is why you had to <laughs> She's still looking you into the camera. <laughs> There's your inspiration. I get there. And that, guys, was my reaction to Ms. Marvel episode three. Um, I felt I enjoyed this episode, but I don't know something felt a little bit flat to me. I don't know what it was. I don't know whether it's because I was maybe... I don't know whether I felt it because I was like paying attention a lot more. Because I'm actually kind of worried that now that it's finished, I was like, fucking hell, was that the end? I don't remember talking much during it or reacting too much. So I'm afraid I'm gonna, not going to fill it up too much. But I don't know whether that's because I felt it felt flat because I'm thinking of that or not much really happened. I think it, things did happen, though. It, it progressed a decent amount, but it just felt fast, I guess. I don't know. Um... But I, listen, I, I enjoyed... Here's the thing, is that I enjoyed the scene, the wedding scenes. I enjoyed her moments with her mother. Uh, and I somewhat enjoyed the fight as well. There's, like, bits and pieces. Like, yeah. I don't, yeah. 
I enjoyed the fights, the fight, I think. It, there was a lot more sort of trying to protect herself, which maybe is why she probably survived a lot longer. She was trying to run away rather than try to fight. But then she ended up fighting. But overall, um, yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. But I'll go through my notes quickly. Um, uh, Nightlight and let's say like Night Monkey from Fair From Home, Spider-Man Fair From Home, but Nightlight as well. It's sort of like, it won't stick around eventually. Eventually it will go. But it is one of those ones that's just sort of like when people just sort of like, oh, I'm not Nightlight. And that's how it was. But there is a chance that could just stick forever. And it's just like, mm, I'm not like, so they need to probably, I don't know how they're going to implement Ms. Marvel, unless like they do a moment where they're like, like in Kick-Ass, like the film Kick-Ass, where it's like, who are you, dude? And he looks at the camera and goes, I'm Kick-Ass. And then that's it. And then it's like this way, it's like, who are you? And he's like, I'm Ms. Marvel, that sort of thing. But I'm not too certain it goes. Um, the other dimension thing, like obviously even it, it felt it came across that because like the cosmicness to it, but I honestly didn't expect it to like them to be from a, another dimension necessarily. I just I, I don't know really what to expect. It was like and you know what thing is I think it was an overload of information very quickly. I felt with with that, um, especially when you're dealing with cosmic stuff. I find that if it's something that's told and dumbed down or explained like but not even dumbed down i'm not trying to act like i'm stupid but then again i'm not smart i'm i'm, I'm, I'm i don't i'm not gonna get into that but point is that like with cosmic stuff when you're dealing with things that are not what you're not used to you need a bit of time to just to get used to it and i felt like that was all sort of like we're from another dimension we came from here we thought this this and that and it's like whoa 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 whoa, whoa. slow the f train down and maybe either explain to me in depth or in short bursts so I can get it. But, yeah. I'm not, yeah, so I think I was, yeah, sort of taken aback by that. And then everything just came, I got, got bombarded a bit. So, but they are known as clandestines or gin. Now, I said during it, I know gins. And, and I think that, I don't think it's from, I may have heard of it from this universe. But not for obviously. I can't remember. I don't think it's in the MCU. I'm fairly certain it's not. I'm fairly certain I read it so much. I do with Miss Marvel, or heard it from someone do Miss Marvel. But then I could have just be getting mixed up with the stuff that I've heard from other like sci-fi or fantasy um, films and TVs and games and stuff like that. Because gin is a gin is a thing. Like how it, how it is there is like a, a demon or or like a genie or something like that. So that's how I kind of I think that's when how I'm fairly certain I kind of know it. But also, I know that's from her as well. Um, the fact that she's trending as well, hopefully, without her, obviously, because right now, she's so much going on, she can't really appreciate it. I'd like the idea that if she's trending without actually trying to trend, and then suddenly she's like, oh, like Spider-Man, when Spider-Man 3, like, they love me. That's 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 kind of what I want it to be when it comes to that, rather than try to trend just so then she is loved. Um... I, oh, that's another thing. I did like how um, Nakia, yeah, Nakia, and also the oh, is he the Amir? No, oh, I can't remember his name. Like the their their religious priests. Oh, I can't remember if the Amir. I can't remember if that that's him. But how they stood up against the government. And well, Naki as well, but he also, he wasn't like starting to like sort of be afraid of the fact that she wants power. He was kind of sort of like, I'm with her here. I did like that. Just like, come on, show some respect. Take your shoes off. But I know they're agents, but still. <sighs> Just... Anyway, so I thought that was good. That And also her win and getting onto the board as well. That was a nice little moment that they had. Um, Bruno making the mask is such, like he's just, if he's not making his way into her hair, he's, he's in mine that lad he's just popping up saying the right things doing the right things being everything that she needs to be but I, yeah I just, I just oh he's, he's such he's such a sweet dude um but also when he obviously had the moment where he found out they might be bad and he was saying like 
I'm going to be with you. If you want to do it, then we'll do it. I just want to make sure that we're safe and everything's all right. So he's saying, I'll, I'll, I'm here I'm here with you to the end of the line, but let's just make sure that the end of the line is not fucking got barriers at the end that ends up killing us, that sort of thing. So, yeah, he's such a... He is, he is someone that you want on your team, that you want around. Your man in the chair that isn't going to put the mission aside. He's going to put make sure your safety is first and foremost. But also he's there saying, right, fucking go kick ass. You're a superhero. He's not trying to pull her back or bring her down. He's keeping her level-headed whilst also saying, go save the world. So it's a fine rope and he's, he's, he's crossing it miraculously, but with such ease. And everyone should aspire to be like him. Um, the wedding. The wedding was great. Having to see the culture. like I'm not, I haven't myself not experienced that yet. That was a, just interesting to see the culture of, of how a wedding should be. I've heard bits and pieces about having I haven't seen it. The ceremony and the afters. That's what I'm saying. That's what I love about not just that culture, but cultures from that part. And other, most parts, actually. But, well, quite, quite a few uh, parts of, like, just across the world like not in europe as well but in asia that like how it's a uh, synchronized dances that without really like people know it without it being like a big full-on sort of let's practice for the next seven weeks like it's just something that they know it's a routine unless they do practice and i don't know and i'm just assuming that everyone just sort of like gets taught it like without having to need to like learn it regimentally and then it's just like a, right the dance is here we're here to do it so i enjoy that I enjoyed the whole sort of dance with different people doing their own sort of thing. Um, yeah, it was it was, re- it was really fun, really good. Um, Bruno coming in as well, just sort of, and he's just, he's, he's, ex- he's embraced that culture and they've just embraced him as well. And he's trying to learn, especially with the head knocking thing. That, that was a prime example of him going like, all right, okay, cool, what's this here? He's, oh, he's such an ally to have in sort of cultural aspect and also as an ally for a superhero. Um. Yeah, the fight scenes. Yeah, I could have um, maybe have done with. But then again, she hasn't been trained or anything else. She's rusty as fuck. She doesn't know whether she wants to be here or not. She's only trying to learn these powers. She's only a kid, so it makes sense. Like you can't really, I can't really compare her to other kids either. Like, um, Yelena. Is she really a kid? I can't. I don't know how old Scarly and not Scarly Hansen. Um. Uh, oh my god <laughs> Natasha uh, Natasha, how, uh, I, I can't work out how old she's supposed to be so I don't, couldn't tell you how old Elena's supposed to be but have a look at Kate Bishop as well Like she sort of knows what she's doing but she, she's just trying to get to grab it. so I think I'm used to people coming in and still being quite badass in her own way whereas she sort of has the the, the drive but she hasn't got the skills and she has these powers there, but she doesn't really know what they are and how to use them. So I think I need a little bit more. I personally need a little bit more patience with that. So, um, but again, she smart, gets everyone out, clears out, trying to hide, just blocking them all off. And then fucking Bruno gets involved, gets cl- collateraled. Like, I mean, as in like, they, if it was as if it was just sort of, it was, oh, I don't know, it, it just, it was as if he got hit by 20 things all at once and he just went flying straight into that pole. He got taken the fuck out. But then, obviously then, uh, Cameron, he, again, another character, I thought he might just be a shithead, but it turns out he's being tricked as well. And it's good that he's, hel- he's helping, he's, but he's turned against them, so I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, but yeah, but with... Um, with the DODC coming in as well, a little bit shocked that like they took them all in very easily, very quickly. They used some sort of stuff to, like, just to detain them, but they seemed powerful. They were pulling fucking weapons out with it, like chests and stuff. They were fucking throwing things around like they're powerful. So, you know, I'm f- fairly certain they're uh, they're not going. They can't be detained for long. That's for certain. Um, or if they are somehow, the DODC have got weapons beyond their imagination. So, but then again, they've had Star- they took Stark's weaponry, so they 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 could have access to things that we don't know about yet. Um, but yeah, but the um, show that 
Uh, I'm also shocked, again, I said it during, I'm shocked that the, pair of the family just gave up asking Kamala questions. She was like, I can't talk about that. I don't know about anyone else, fam. If I was like that, that would, like, my parents didn't really raise their hand to me. But if I said that and it was that serious, fuck me, I'm getting shook until, like, just, I mean, as an adult, not as a kid. But, like, as I'm saying, I'm getting shook until I'm fucking told that they're, they'll be threatening, they'll be taking stuff up, uh, stuff away. Like, you, do you think Lucille would still be here? No, Lucille is there, there and she's getting put through a shredder. Just so they could find out why were these people at this wedding just trying to beat you up? What was going on? Are you into this? And oh fuck yeah, oh yeah. Also, I would have fucking told straight away. I would have been like powers, bitch. Boom, done. But alas, she didn't. And yeah, well, maybe it might work out better in the long run. But if I have to keep on seeing her dad disappointed in her for not telling the truth like that, it I I I might just have to, like I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what I have to do, but it's breaking my heart more and more. He looks sad at her, eating him not recognizing her. So yeah, and finally, Nadi saw the train as well. She, they're going to Pakistan. They're going to. I was about to say India. There, sorry, because it's on the par, like the partition in India. They're going to Pakistan. Um, that'll be interesting. I would like to. See, I'd like to see how they represent a culture from there. I know this whole show has actually been spearheaded by. Uh, by uh, people of that culture. So it, I think they'll get pretty much everything right. So it looks authentic. So it'll be interesting to see why they have to go there as well. How they're going to explore her powers more. I don't know. But like I said, this episode, I somewhat enjoyed. I, I, I enjoyed. I had like a few hang-ups, but it was it was enjoyable, I guess. Um, a majority of it. But yeah, so I just, I hope the next one... Is it a little bit more enjoyable, a bit more progressive in Kamala's character? Um, I don't know. I feel like there should be a little bit more at stake as well. A little bit more stakes. I'm not feeling the stakes. Uh, yeah, I'm not even feeling the stakes. Right now, it's just sort of like a, mm, I'll do this, or, or mm, it's not really, re nothing really there. So I kind of know more about stakes. And a bit more education on the actual sort of, like, other dimensions and how the wasps, the wens are wet, how maybe I've just, I'm dumb and I haven't really sort of taken it in. And once I've finished this, I'm going to read up about it. And then I'm like, Oh, that's what you didn't get. You gobshite. But if they haven't done that, then yes, I'd like that more in the next one. But other than that guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please like the video, comment down below, um, comment down below what you thought of the episode. Uh, are, you, are we, are we all just, we still love, we all love Bruno, right? Yeah. We all love Bruno. I did, can you, there we, there we go. Oh God, that's one oh, fuck it. We all love Bruno. Uh, what do you think, what do you think of the, the wedding, the dancing? I thought that was brilliant. And um, yeah, are you guys a little bit confused? Do you think they should, exp should explain it more? So yeah, just let me, let me know down below what you guys think. If you like these types of videos, guys, please subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you get a notification every time that I upload stuff. There's a bunch of other videos around here to do with reactions with me and other people. So have a look around, see what takes your fancy. I like, like, I like to think you'll enjoy them. And yeah, on that note, I then I'm going to head, right? I'll see you in the next one.